welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Taobao haul for you guys. For some reason, you guys really really seem to like Taobao hauls and I also really like to shop on Taobao because that's when I can get a lot of good deals and on top of that, today's haul are actually the things I got during the 99 sale. All in all, I waited for about two and a half weeks for everything to arrive and I bought it off of the Taobao app itself. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get started! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna first talk about the outfit items. The first one I got, this top over here, it's kind of cropped like this. And the red colour didn't look like the one that was shown in a picture. It looks a little bit more maroon red rather than this like orangey red. I like it because it looks like a little bit race car-ish and I thought it looked quite different from all of the crop top tank tops that I own. I wish it was tighter around here, the neck area. So a little bit disappointed but I still like the design a lot. I would recommend it. From the same shop which is called Sis July, I actually got this other dress which is 52 renminbi which makes up to be about $11. Honestly, it looked so much better in the photo. So this is a black colour stretchy type of dress. This one is super thin, I do not recommend it. And I don't know about you guys, but it just looks weird. Like, it's just straight cut, you know? Like there's no curves, no nothing to this dress at all. It's literally a piece of fabric. You know it looks like this kind of thing where you wrap fruits in? Yeah, it looks like this in a dress form. And it's very thin, so the material is definitely not even worth $11. So this black dress, I wore it to the Fenty Beauty event. I'm gonna insert over here. I really love it because it just reminds me a little bit of like a sexy Jiangman wall. I don't know why, but it's just kind of like gothic and lazy at the same time. It's a off-shoulder dress that is really short. I'm 163 and I think this is the shortest I can ever go before like you know I show too many things. If you are 163 and above, I feel like this will be way too short for you. So bear in mind if you are intending to purchase the same dress. But it has some sort of like a lace detailing around it and also the sleeves are lace which is what I like. At the bottom, you'll have a little bit of a peekaboo lace like this. Overall, I think it's a very beautiful girly piece that I would wear again. The fit isn't great but there's nothing that bobby pins and back safety pins can't fix and I did wear it to a very important event. Less than $10. That's actually very worth it. Yes, I highly recommend it. Now another top that I bought. This one is a inspired piece by Jan Manwal as well. This one kind of is very see-through, it's chiffon, it's very soft looking and there are lots of pearls around the entire top. It comes with an inner lining which is a similar like kind of coral salmon colour like this. I do like it but I feel like this one is a little bit loud for my liking. Chiffon material is a little bit scratchy as well. I feel like I don't know where I bought all these things from. I'm assuming it's Taobao but it could be Shopee also so I'm not too sure. But I've got two tops over here. Unfortunately, I can't find the link because I really don't know where it's from. But I'm sure if you screenshot and use the photo AR function, you can actually find these pieces. This one is just a very simple red spaghetti strap top that is cropped. I really like it. If I'm not wrong, I think I paid like $5 for it. It's very versatile, it's very everyday and it's also very flattering. On top of that, I bought this colourful rainbow top. Honestly, I don't know what I was thinking but it just looked really nice in the picture and so I got it. Honestly, I don't really expect much from these type of clothing because I'm paying very very little for it anyway. If you really have to talk about workmanship, this one is terrible. You can see like, the threads are all like falling out so. Next up, I also got myself a leather skirt. It's been a long time since I last wore a leather skirt. I used to wear these quite often but I haven't found a good one in recent years because my previous one started peeling. Surprisingly, it fit really well and it's extremely flattering. I really love it. The quality is also very, very good and it's very sturdy. It's not the cheapest for Taobao per se, but I really think the quality is very worth it. I would be willing to pay way more than this for this kind of quality. It's like thick, it's double lined. I love the cutting and for some reason, it has this like, kind of like a M 
inverted shape at the top. If you wear a shirt over it and you pair it with this, right, your shirt can just kind of fall out in a very, very nice manner. And I think that's kind of what this M-shaped thing is for. I thought it was quite a good idea to have. Oh, it is a dress. I have not opened this yet. This is kind of like a sweetheart lace dress. It was worn by Rosé from Blackpink, which is why I kind of decided to buy it. But from the looks of it, it looks quite big. It has yellow cherries all over and I like the lace detailing at the side which you might think it's drawstring but it's actually dead so you can't pull it. I spent 55 renminbi fee on this which is like 11, 12, 13 dollars depending on how much I paid for shipping. I've got a black top. This is a low scoop back top. I saw a lot of Instagram models wear it and I was like, okay, it looks really nice and comfortable. So I decided to get one for myself. Four plus sing dollars. Not bad actually. I always get my party and events dresses from Taobao because I don't mind just looking online for them because there's so many of them and like the prices are endless. So I chance upon this one. Okay, I know from the looks, of this like this now it's a bit hard to visualize how it looks like but it looked really nice on the model and it has a toga detail with a metal like ring over here and it also has a cutout on the waist to give you a very nice like hourglass figure you can definitely see through it right so the material is super thin now this is a bit pricey but I don't know how it will look. Maybe it'll look nice. I bought a jewellery case. Kind of like a toolbox thing and it's uh, three layers. I really like it actually. I feel like it comes with a handle which makes things so much easier because you can kind of carry them all at one go. There are like little clasp over here which you can open up. It's kind of like a lunch box. And these are actually really good for organizing your accessories or small little trinkets that you have. Ooh, these are also removable. Honestly, I think $3, $4 is super worth it. The quality is also really good. And I like the way they stored it and delivered it. Because usually when it comes to things like this, for some reason, if I ship them from overseas, there's a high chance that it will be broken or damaged. But this one remained intact, so I highly recommend it. Now let's move on to accessories. You guys know how obsessed I am with Hotel Del Luna and I do wore so many accessories in there. The people in ta on Taobao are super fast at like just bringing in similar pieces. It just caught my eye and I spent a lot of money on it, like a lot. <laughs> so this is the first one that I got. This is quite an interesting necklace that looks like this. So you just kind of like hook it over your neck. Quality of it is okay, it's not the worst and it's quite beautiful. So that's like $3. It's okay. It's very, very affordable. There's one that came in this like little box. It's super excessive. Okay, so I saw this similar one in What's Wrong With Secretary Kim. Really long one. Guess how much I paid for it. I just saw it and I was like really shocked. I paid 90 renminbi for it. It was like almost 20 bucks and the quality is absolutely bad. Feels like the three bucks one that I just paid for. I'm so disappointed. Oh gosh. You really, really can't tell unless you have like bought something from the same shop before. It's from this brand called Zheng Liu. I've actually purchased from them before. I really like the quality of their things. Comes with a dust bag and even an alcohol swab. And also, everything is nicely ziplocked in individual bags like this. The quality is amazing as well and I only paid 49 renminbi, which is about 10 sing dollars for it. So it's hooped earrings with some sort of like a diamond all around it. Next up, another accessory. Oh, this is beautiful. This one is another one that I saw from Hotel Del Luna. It's a crescent necklace. Quite beautiful. It has some sort of a crystal on it. And it's also accompanied with a small little star very dainty it's very nice and the quality of it is not bad as well okay it's not like super cheap but it's also quite worth it i feel five dollars for quite good quality piece another thing from the same shop i got this pair of earrings that looks really beautiful it's a pair of a uh, floral pearl earrings that look like this. Unfortunately, the bag got bent already. <laughs> so I think it's inevitable. Yeah, they look very beautiful. There are 
four pearls of different sizes and a very beautiful flower pearl as well. So this is very dainty looking. $2, that's very worth it. I gotta say though, it's so much bigger than how it looks like in the picture. Hopefully, I can still rock this. It's quite a good buy. Next up, I've got this necklace. So it looks quite complicated like this in the packaging. But I already know which one it is. I, I really wanted something like this. A choker that has a you know, pearl design like this. You guys can see how it's supposed to look like. Oh man, I wish it was tighter though, because it's meant to be a choker. I would gladly take it because it's pretty good quality. It's just a very nice pearl choker that would spice up any outfit. And I really like it that it's zigzag, so that way you don't look like there's a lot of things going on because you kind of leave some sort of skin peeking through. I also got this one. To be honest, I think the material of this is very, very cheap, but it's quite a beautiful statement piece. So this is also a choker that is kind of made with sequins. So this is how it looks like. Oh, I like it. It's quite sparkly. Okay, I know it doesn't look like it is, but it's because of the top that I'm wearing. Like if I'm wearing an off-shoulder top, this one would definitely be, you know, one of the highlights of the entire outfit. And I quite like it. I think it fits quite well. It's not too expensive, so it's fine. Alrighty, I think that's the end of this haul. Let me know what you guys think and let me know what your favourite items to buy from Taobao. I'll link everything in the description box below. I'll try my best to find every single thing for you guys, okay? And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because that would mean a lot to me. Like and share. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!